Hello, I was just going to do for you really quickly a video that was pretty much requested just on how to export GLTF PBR materials from 3D Coat for use in Second Life. I'm only going to cover the export process because the actual importing process is exactly the same as it would be in my intro to PBR GLTF upload video with the way too long title uh, that I did previously. So uh, we have 3D code open here with an object that I had already previously textured. These are all PBR smart materials and the environment that I'm using is actually the um, Second Life default HDRI that is available on the Second Life wiki under um, the PBR wiki page. So in order to export from 3D Coat, it's not difficult, but it is a little bit unintuitive. You do not use the textures export option that you would ordinarily use if you were exporting just the albedo map or the um, layers to PSD, or if you wanted to export all the maps separately, you actually need to go to File, Export Objects and Textures. Then make sure that this export geometry box is checked. Second Life does not currently support GLTF geometry import, but for 3D Coat, you do have to include the geometry in order for it to pack all your materials correctly, even though Second Life is going to discard that portion of the GLTF file. So make sure export geometry is selected. And then in this blank box right here, where it says output mesh, you actually just click there and it will open up the save dialog for you. Then we'll just go ahead and select a folder to save it in, something that we can find later. And then from the file type dropdown, we will now select GLTF. You can see I did this previously. Um, so just give it a name that you'll remember and make sure that that file type is set to GLTF. When you click Save, it will now populate this field for us. You can choose what resolution to export. It literally doesn't matter because Second Life is again just going to discard it. Then make sure also that the Export Textures checkbox is marked. You can leave this Path for Textures field blank by default. 3D Coat will export the textures to the same directory that the model is being exported to. So unless you have a specific separate folder that you would like them saved to, just leave it blank. You can also add a textures prefix to the uh, file name and that will just uh, make it easier possibly for you for organization, but that's entirely up to you and 100% optional. We also do need to make sure that this GLTF embedded is selected because if it is not, the file will not upload correctly to Second Life. For some reason, by default, the padding options for 3D Co are really aggressive. Uh, it's 256 pixels is a lot of padding on a 1024 texture, so I personally will just make that smaller. Um, and we can leave that all blank. That's all good. Um, you do want to export this with alpha, so you can leave all of these channels as they are. The reason you'd like to leave the alpha is if you would like to manually combine these files, the loose textures later because at the moment I am using multiple materials on different faces of the object and each separate material is going to export as a different material or upload to Second Life. Otherwise, you can go ahead and just leave all of these just the way that they are and click Export. All right, that creates for us a GLTF file, which 
some of this mess, cable tilt GLTF along with all of the loose textures. Um, so you probably don't want to be like me and just save them haphazardly into a random folder, but make it neat. Other than that, this file is ready to go and can be uploaded directly to Second Life. Even though it does contain multiple materials, Second Life is able to bulk upload all of those at the same time. That's it. That's all you need to do. If you would like to have different colored base color maps for you know, uh, an object you want to maybe have a color HUD for, my recommendation would be to upload the GLTF for the first one, and then you can individually save different diffuse maps with the textures export color albedo map option and just upload them as regular textures to Second Life and plug them into your material that you've created. And that's all. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm available in the YouTube comments here, or I can be reached on Twitter as well. Thank you and have a wonderful night.